Alright, Shalom. Shalom. I'm going to start off with souls by giving all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Akar, Kodash. Alright, double honors, the Apostle Great Millstone. Double honors. Honestly, brothers, in the work of the most on truth and in sincerity. Alright, um, yeah, we you know a couple of London brothers, you know, go and get into it. Uh, Lord's will, you know, we got, uh, you know, it's edifying, you know. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Right. So, you know, and um, word straight there means a position of difficulty. Mm. And you know, um, you know, I was, was reasoning earlier before we put the camera on. I'm just kind of talking about these people in the world, how everything these souls pushing, there's a vibration behind it. You know, there's like a, you know, you do a certain actions and it's a, you know, there's a God behind it in a sense, yeah. an idol behind it, you know? And um, we're reasoning on how these people are just with the demons. Mm. There's the, they, they don't, they're not checking themselves. They're just doing what the hell they want to do. Whereas, you know, with us, you know, in the straight gate, you're constantly in a place where you're constantly checking yourself because we fear you how me on shine, mm. you know, and um, that's a battle. It's a battle versus the flesh. That's it. You know, um, and I'll, I'll read that in a bit. In a, you know, in a, is it Romans, but uh, Apostle Paul, what war in my flesh, yeah, 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 my yeah, members, yeah, yeah. you know, and that's what we are. We're constantly warring, man. we everything you do, and you're thinking, okay, you know, am I doing the right thing? And even when you do something wrong, you know, which we all, because we're in the flesh, yeah, to show integrity and try and make it right or, so, or learn from it and, you know, don't do it again. Do your best to, to improve. Mm. And, you know, which shows, um, you know, it's, 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 you're growing in righteousness and you're waxing strong in your character, in, in, in the Lord, man. Yeah, it, it's good to talk about, you know, um, though the yeah, can. So let's talk about you know though the outer man is uh, perisheth, right? That you know the inner man is renewed day by day. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Because in in this thing, it's as Baba mentioned, may you know mess up whatever what have you. And it's about learning from those things and growing. And then, but but the main thing is not falling, right? Scriptures also saith, um, the righteous man uh, uh, falleth seven times, but getteth back up. You don't want to, that's like someone that falls out of the truth. They turn their back on the plow. They, 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 they don't have their faith in your heart washing your share. You know? Someone that falls out of the truth. Mm. You don't want to, you, don't, you know what I mean? It's about getting back up and, and going on and, and, and doing the same thing what we're doing, repenting and seeking for mercy. Now, he said, what? For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Mm -hmm. And many there <clears> be which go in there. Right? You know, different philosophies and stuff. It's all broad. Yeah. Yep. There's all different types of things that you can get into that's ultimately leading to your death. Yeah. It's leading to your destruction. Yeah. If, you know? if I can say, even when you just look at this, it, you know, this thing of ours, this Israelite thing of ours, right? You get certain people that are so close, but they don't believe in the real names of Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai. Right. Yeah. Or they're so close, but they, you know, believe, you know, Edomites can make it. Right? Yeah. It's the thing. It's, you know, here it is, you know, they find out that they're Israelites. And it's like, okay, cool. Uh, that's part one. But then somewhere along the line, because the Lord ultimately doesn't want them, right? They can't see certain important things of the doctrine. Yeah, to be baptized by fire, man. Yeah, you know, to go through the the, the the straight gate. That's the that's the that's the way that and that everything encapsulates that. When you're standing up for truth and you're standing up for righteousness, you make yourself an enemy now. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Isaiah, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what's that word? Isaiah 59. He, um, yeah, yeah, maketh himself a prey. Let me get that quickly. Isaiah, what was it? I think it's 59 15. If you try that, uh, yeah, that, that's that's true. Uh, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 15. Let's go this way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Isaiah 59 and 15. Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. Oh, that's a beautiful precept. Mm. Yeah, go on, nice. yeah, yeah, just on what you, what you had uh, quoted earlier on. You know, he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Why? Because now it's people are looking at you like, oh, he thinks he's so much better than us. He thinks this, he thinks that. Or, oh, why isn't he in on the wickedness that we're on? Mm -hmm. Right? 
That's right, for instance, the scripture says, how can two walk together except they be agreed? Yeah. Right? For instance, you, you, you know, you might be in an environment speaking to a Jake, you think he's getting or whatever, then he starts speaking about some adultery, he's like, nah, that's, that's off. Yeah. Now he's looking at you because, of course, you've shown the light on his wickedness. Yeah. He's now looking at you like you've got a, a, a problem when it's them that has has the problem, you know? Oh, uh, I, got, I got you, I got you. Um, this is... 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be not unequally yoked mm -hmm. together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Mm -hmm. And what communion have light with darkness? That's it. Yeah, it's true, man. So, like, here we are, you know, we're practicing to the best of our ability the law, statutes, and commandments. Yahweh, Bosh, and Yahweh, and trying to live a righteous life to the best of our ability in the health. You know. And, um, which that's the, by the way, the scriptures say not to be over-righteous. Like, for example, like on the Pasak, for example, you're meant to get, um, well, actually, let me, oh, that's an example, yeah. On the Pasak, you're meant to get an unblemished lamb mm -hmm. on the first year and all that, yep. you know. But where are we going to do that? You go to the supermarket, you don't know what the hell that's got going mm -hmm. on with that lamb. We just pray, you know, we pray over the food. Yep. And, and, and we do the best we can. Yeah. Now, for instance, over here in the UK, a lot of them places where you're going to get, uh, at least let's, let me sit here in London, a lot of them places you're going to get them, um, uh, like, you know, a big enough lamb's going to be them halal butchers. Right, right. You know, which, you know, that's, yeah. you know, that's that's been, you know, over to other gods or whatever, what have you. But that's why, for instance, the scripture says in Judges 5 and 11, the rehearsing of the righteous acts of Yahweh yeah. Shem Yahweh Yeah, like, a, you know, you work on the Sabbath. You get put to death according to the scripture. Yeah. But we can't look. You, you know, <laughs> you got a job in the East, got you work in the Sabbath. That's it is what it is. Yeah. You know, you meant to. You see a, a flamer. You meant in the yeah. twenty. You meant to put the guy to death. That's it. But you, you do that now. You're gonna be in jail. How are you gonna push the word? That's it. That, that's not wise. You know, we're moving according to wisdom. Yeah. Oh, scripture says. Um, how Shai said, "Be therefore wise as serpents, yeah. and harmless as a dove." dove. Yeah, because you know what? The Lord is going to be the one that's going to rise up to the prey anyway. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's when that's when we can, when we get the power, we can execute mm -hmm. the judgment. That's it. Ooh, yeah. That's it. You know? Um, yeah, when we get the power, we can execute the judgment. That's right. Because right now, we haven't got the power. Uh, we are yet this day in our captivity. Is, uh, it says in uh, Baruch, what, three, some, I believe? Yeah, let me, let me read that. Let me read that. This is uh, Baruch, chapter three, verse eight. It says, behold, it's nice here. Mm. Kind of opened up a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. And by the way, you know, walking through um, this, um, this park right now, you know, like a nature reserve. And, um, you know, Esau owns all of this. Mm, mm, mm. And he lets you just roam around in it. Yep. We're in the kingdom, we're gonna own all this. Yeah. It's our land. That's it. You know, the British, the British Isles, the Anglo Saxons, mm -hmm. this all, all of it, everything is really it's, it's, yeah. it's, you know what I mean? It's yeah, a, the, the whole earth in its entirety, man. Yeah, you know, all these because you, you're gonna get the obviously the other nations that are gonna have their lands and mm. they're gonna have their lands or whatever. Yeah. But they're gonna have to pay tribute. We're gonna That's have, it. We're gonna be able to go and do what the hell we want. Yeah. In a sense, you know? Yeah. Um according to the law, obviously yeah. we're gonna keep it perfect. Yeah. You know? But um we're going to be given our land. The Lord's going to, the Lord's actually going to set up. There's actually like, you know, different planets in, uh, in my father's house. Yeah, many, many mansions. mansions. That's it. You know, that's actually that's that's in the scriptures. The place is set up for us. So we're going to have all of that. Man. Mm. You're going to be able to walk around in your own land, just like this. Everything you see now, all this green. But well, you're going to have a spike You know. Yeah. You're going to see that man. Water. Yeah. You're going to see that, and um, you need to enjoy that. Mm. Just little side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was thinking. Yeah, because it's, it's it's true. Because for instance, there are separate in, in you know there are certain animals in this particular place that we're at right now. But hey, we 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 catch one of them, trouble, <laughs> problems, right? Whereas in the in the kingdom, we're gonna be in a plot of land. But if it's our land, we go, you know we're gonna you know take. But as you know, as the scripture says, uh, you you got that brute. Yeah. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8 says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, 
where thou hast scattered us mm -hmm. for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payment yep. according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from Yahweh our power. Yeah, so that's actually touches on a lot of different things, right? Yeah, we're wondering that as well, you know. Is that stone? <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's uh, You reckon it's a... Uh, yeah, it's, it's some kind of animal. Animal of Yeah. Shit. It almost looks like, you know, onyx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like onyx, doesn't it? Yeah. Can. Yeah. Can, yeah, so if you read it, we'll, we'll try and pack that precept. Can. Because behold, it is broke for your name. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Right, so to this day, we're still captives, man. Right, uh, where the captive exile seeketh to be loose, right, I'm paraphrasing, you know, we're, we're, we're hoping and praying for the day wherein the Lord is going to deliver us from this hell, right, but right now, we're, we're in captivity, man, right, which is why we can't, you know, uh, keep the laws, um, you know, to, 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 to even, even closer to the best of our abilities, right, yeah, because, yeah. yeah, you got, no, no, I was just saying, yeah, it's true, yeah, we don't have, where's the temple, where's all that, yeah, which, you know, in the kingdom, <laughs> you know, hey, we're going to be, Doing all the righteous yeah. judgments. Hey, we we're not even recognised as being the people. Mm -hmm. For us to even go to the temple, you know. Mm -hmm. Which you now we which we are the temple. Yeah, yeah. The, the Lord's raising us up. We are the temple. Man. That's it. And um, in this, you know, in this time, and um, it's being raised up, man. Yep. Because you know, when the Lord makes us perfect, we're going to be judging. Yeah. You know what I mean? The scriptures say, "What a nation of kings and priests." Mm -hmm. Oh, the mountain of the Lord. Yep. That's for Isaiah 2. In fact, I can read that. But we can break this down as well. Yeah, yeah. This is for a reproach and a curse. Yeah, which which right now, man, our, uh, the nation of Israel, we're a reproach, man. Right? You know, uh, uh, we're a pro people refer to us as Proverbs, with Proverbs and Bowers and all of that. Right? It says... And to be subject to payment. And, and that's it. Hey, but, but well, as soon as you came out, the first thing you do, you read the sign. Okay, cool. Can I park here? Okay, cool. Because yeah. you know, if you don't read that sign correctly, yeah. payments, problems, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? I remember even on the, uh, we on the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, I was like, oh, bills. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Shit like, oh, I gotta do this and that. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because once again, we ain't sovereigns, man. We constantly having to pay this person, that person. Right, and Esau, uh, remember the other day, was driving, man, right, and then he's moving around, and then this thing, who we said, one wrong turn, now now, now you got to pay this man money. Right, yeah, yeah. You know? It says, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which depart from the Lord our power. Yeah, so you link that up with uh, Micah 7 and 9, speaking about how we'll bear the indignation of Yahweh Hashem Shai, for we have sinned against the Lord. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, let me get Isaiah 2. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. This is when we're going to get the kingdom. We're going to mm. things perfect. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass, I'll probably get judges as well. Okay. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house uh, that one. Okay. shall be established. In the top of the mountains. Yeah, so that's going into the mountain representing governments, mm -hmm. right? You have, um, would you call it, uh, uh, the G8 summit, the G7 summit, the this summit, right? Yeah, we'll just go for it. Yeah, we'll just go for it. Okay, yeah, yeah. You got to go through this first. Uh, the rougher terrain. Yeah. You know, but the, thing is, like, the only thing is, is there, some, is there like a stream set up in this? Or? Nah, nah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Yep. Yeah, um, let me read that again. And it shall come to pass in the long days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Right, so the, the, the kingdom of Israel, the government of Israel will be above the other governments of these other nations. Yeah, and it says, and shall be exalted above the hills and all the nations shall flow onto it. Yeah, so the hills of your, your smaller governments. Yeah, yeah, it's basically the other nations. Yeah. You know, we're going to be over them. It says, and many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, mm -hmm. and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That's it. 
Yes, yeah, you, you got, you got, you got it. That's when we're establishing the kingdom. That's when we're bringing forth righteous judgment, man. You know, when the courts of Yahweh Shai are upon the earth, you know. That's it. And, and that's when every, you know, everything that's against righteousness is going to get judged, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be the law. Yeah. I yeah. The heavenly law, the law that is always meant to be. Yeah. Right now, you got the vibration of what the wicked. Is. Yeah. So that's why. To try and live righteously in his kingdom as we we're open up about it's, it's you know it's uh yeah 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 it's not um it's it's, it's, it's difficult it's it's, it's it's difficult why yeah. because you know the spirit of the lord guides us yeah but remember that like like you mentioned earlier as that would man perish the mm -hmm. man is removed day by day yeah the old man is being put away yeah we came out of that hill yeah and now we're being cleansed by what the washing of the word mm. so the word is actually cleansing us you know and every day you're getting more and more in tune with righteousness yeah you know what i mean that's it that's it being uh, uh you know getting getting closer right but we'll be perfected in the kingdom because exactly. we we still go on uh because we still need salvation yeah you know perfection you know. without your house right that's it Lord's gonna come be the one that's going to come and change us, mm -hmm. you know, so that we can be like him. It says, and he shall judge among the nations. And by the way, you know, uh, you can't have everyone that's the judge. Everyone can't be the king. Mm -hmm. You've got to have the servants. We're going to, the, the, the nation ain't going to be, yeah, I see it. the nations ain't going to be, um, they're not going to be perfect. They ain't going to be like us, man, because yep. the law, the laws for us. Yeah. So we're the ones that are going to be officiating it. Mm -hmm, so when mm -hmm. these king, so these these heathen are going to have to live according to it. Yeah. And if they go off, they're going to have to serve the penalties according to the law. That's it. But we're going to be the ones that are going to judge yeah. them. And but the thing is, they go and see how we're living, how we are, and see that yo shit, hey, they hey, the law is best for keep the law. So yeah. just like how right now you have Americanization, yeah. when people are trying to be like. You know these Babylonians, like for instance, you know, I was watching the thing on the Amigos and that, yeah. and they were heavily influenced by the Babylonian uh, 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 way of living. Yeah. Right? Guess what? We in the kingdom, people are gonna be like, "Yo, hey, our our heathen ways. Look, man, look where it leads us. Whereas look at look at the way the Israelites are blessed. Look at the way you know you know the Lord is dealing with them. Let's you know let's try our best. You know to which you know, as I was going into, they're gonna falter." Right, but they're going. Yeah, they, that's just, they, ain't, they ain't gonna be perfected. Yeah, even I ain't gonna be, even though it's body, they're gonna be in the flesh. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, Amer Amer right now it's Americanization, but the kingdom is gonna be Israelitization. You know, exactly. And it says, "I shall rebuke many people." Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're gonna have the power to. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna rebuke them, man. Right now, we are rebuking them in the name of the Holy Ghost like you know, this word okay but then there's also going to be judgments that are going to follow yeah you know it says and they shall beat their swords into plowshares mm -hmm. and their spears into pruning hooks yeah which are farming tools because you're going to put working tools you're going to put them to work yeah you're going to be no war no more yeah it says nation shall not lift up spit spear against nation even shall they learn war anymore mm -hmm. because they're going to be no need yeah. You're gonna know who the powers are and you know there's no power up against it. Yeah, because who are you gonna fight against when the Israelites are there in their perfection? Who are you gonna fight against? The thing is like you shoot a man, okay, you kill that man. Or whatever, he's dying, he's dying. Mm. How do you how do you kill something that's how do you kill someone that's immortal? That's it. How do you come up against a god? That's it. <laughs> you know? That's it. It's like in the, you know in the movies. The mortal might shoot guns, and they, 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 yeah. and they're just like, ha ha ha. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, these you know, humans, like, these Homo sapiens, and their guns. guns. You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, that, that, you know, that whole. Come on, man. Like he saw, for example, he's a sword. Mm. He's got the blessing of the sword. He ain't gonna. He, he's gonna be the, the lowest, the basest. Yeah. For the thousand years yeah. around before we get rid of. Him, that's you know? it. Uh, what do you want to do? I know what I'm I want to, yeah, it's, it's turn. Oh, it's okay, turn. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Probably go back to it, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Right, sorry. sorry. Yes. Um, yeah, that was on, uh, on Isaiah 2. Let me get Judges quickly. Turn. This is Judges chapter f uh, 5. 11. Verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water 
language that re that represents a, a slavery places of drawing uh, waters. We are yet to stay in our captivity. Yep. There shall there, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, the law, statutes, and commandments, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages, mm -hmm. Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. That's it. You know? That's and, it. And, and, and you know what? You know, it's say that they hate them. You know? It's definitely the least straight. You know, it's just gonna happen. We're trying yep. to get our people right. Cry yeah, out yeah, yeah. and spare not. Oh, it's good to talk about, you know, uh, brought to the gates of the nobles and all of that. You know? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, starting off the apostles on down, Right, these uh, uh, you know, these different powers and whatever, what have you, they're being, you know, they're being, they're being told that their kingdom's going down, man. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you watch Game of Thrones, for example, yeah, all of them people in King's Landing, you don't hear about them. Why? Because they don't matter, and that's the average person in this thing of ours, man. Right. This is a uh, Isaiah kind of, yeah. fifty-eight and one. Cry aloud, spare not. Right, and that's why. You know, people say, oh, it's the way you talk, though. Nah, spare not. That's what the scriptures say. Yeah, we ain't here to spare your feelings. Yeah, uh, well, this is the thing. Look how all of us came in. One way or another, somewhere along the path, we got cut. And we continue to get yeah. cut. Because <laughs> it's a thing of, like, when, once again, you, as, as you uh, I mentioned before, we're not p perfect. We ain't going to be perfected until Yahweh yeah, Shai um, delivers, delivers us from this hell. Right? You want to keep going on this way, or do you want to keep going? It's cut down, man. It's good. There's a path over here. Yeah, there's a path. Yeah. Go across. All right. The sparrow was lucky. By voice like a trumpet. Yeah, so that's why you remember we'll be out there, you know, the scoffers would come, and this preset will come up and cry out, spare not, lift up the voice like a trumpet. That's right. <laughs> you know? Why? Because at, at the end of the day, that's that's what uh, 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 we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be making our voices heard. Yeah. Coming like men. Hey, when Yahshua spoke, where well, he spoke on a, on, a, on a boat, right, and everyone was still able to hear it. Spoke with authority. With authority, that's it. And that's how we come because we're speaking the words of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Because we've got the truth. When you know you got the truth, you know you say that with conviction. Mm. You have faith, you believe. You know, it says, "And show my people, who's the Lord's people, Israelites, Israel, who so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and anyone else that, that descends from the, the man called Jacob that are scattered, Israelite foreigners, man." It says, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Mm. So where, how do you, so remember the scripture say, this is the way, walk you in it. Mm. What way are we trying to show them? The what right do you, way. What do you have, what shall I say? I am the way, truth mm -hmm. and the life. No man come up unto the Father but by me. That's, it. That's that straight gate. We don't want you to be, you see Jake in the broad way, we see him walking into the pit of fire. You tell, you're trying to get him to come into the yeah, straight Yeah, gate. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, what's 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 Jake on? Prophesy out to me smooth things. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Prophesy deceits. Because mm. the deceitful, there's many ways for, for that. Yeah. You know? There's many ways with deceit. You can have a, like, I always say you can have like a millions of lies, but you, you always got the one truth. That's one it. truth cuts all those lies. That's it. You know? You got all these philosophies out there, people following different things. You got Jake in Islam. Jacob, Christianity, you worship a uh, white Jesus. You got uh, Catholicism, whatever. You got Jake in um, uh, uh, Scientology. Yeah. Um, and all these, basically, and all of these different doctrines that ain't right. Yeah, Egyptology. Egyptology, all of them things. All, all, of, all of the different ways of death. What, what did we start off with? Uh, you brought up Matthew 7. Right, what and yeah. why is the, you know, way that leadeth them to destruction. Wow. Okay. Back in Matthew 7 and 13, it says, For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many mm -hmm. there be which go in there. That's why you see the people, the many. Yeah. Okay. The many are they encompassed by demons. Mm. Whereas 
we're fighting those demons. We got hey, just to say, um, the angels are camped around them that fear the Lord. Yeah. About them that fear the Lord, man. So this is a you know this is a battle. Yeah. We're fighting these spirits. <clears throat> we're fighting to stay to to, to, to be on the right yeah. path. You know. Yeah. And yeah. so if I can say, I was, I was just saying, I was just thinking. The scripture says in our Proverbs, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Also, it's because we fear the Lord. Now, which put a certain uh, 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 modes that I work around, they'll straight up say, yeah, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm not religious because no religion will accept me and all of that. There you go. So they understand the concepts of a Mohs and they understand that actually their ways, according to the, you know, the laws of these different religions, uh, disagree with their alternative lifestyle yeah. yet they continue and do those things right but when you have the fear of the lord you're gonna be like nah <laughs> i ain't gonna do that adultery yeah. right which is a, is a big thing not only amongst jakes but all of these heathens they you know you you be speaking to them and they'll be they'll be all about the adultery man yeah. right but when you fear the lord <laughs> you're constantly, constantly checking it. So, you said you're single. You said you're single. <laughs> you <sing. laughs> you know? Yeah, Why? Always, yeah. Because it's the fear of the law. Because you know, where'd you, you don't want one. It's, you know that feeling. It's like, oh shit, did I fuck up then? You know? Bowers don't, you know, that's, that's, that's not a nice feeling to, to, you know, to be, oh shit, did I fuck up? Conscience. Like, yeah. Is that weird? They even had that. Jakes do the hell they want. Mm. You know, they, the, the demon is just on them, man. Yeah. And you can see it. Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's and disgusting. The, and the worst thing is, and this is what it says in Matthew, the 13th chapter, what bless are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear, right? Is that the worst thing is these individuals in the world, they don't actually even know they got demons on them. These tra these are uh, Decepticons, right? These Transformers. They don't know they got a demon on them. That's why they'll be a dude and they'll, they'll say, I feel like a woman. Because they got demons on them, right? These guys, like for instance, you get certain guys that are just chronic adulterers. Yeah. Right, was that with you when I was reading the, that preset, man? It's, no, it was, it was, it was uh, I bud. There's a scripture in Surat where it says, and the old adulterer that doted. Mm -hmm. And the scripture says before it, and I am offended at their life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm offended mm -hmm. at their life, right? Yet they do these things, they don't understand they've got demons on them, and they don't understand that actually they're reaping death unto themselves. Whatsoever man so if that also shall he reap. Oh, well, it says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, mm -hmm. and a few there be that find it. That's it. The other way goes on to death and destruction. Mm -hmm. You know, we're about life here, man. That's it. That's the thing. The righteousness is, is about life, it's about, you know. Like for example, the uh, the land Sabbath mm. to bring refreshment and life and fruit, yeah. and fruitfulness. Yeah, you and don't keep that. That's the, now yeah. you're going towards death and destruction. Yeah, and if I can say that takes faith as well, because when you when you see you know you're getting your crop or whatever what have you, and you're thinking shit, what am I going to have if I don't? Uh, 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 what would you call it? If I don't um, plow the land for that one particular year, so you may break that covenant. And then now you've got an extra four years, but guess what? Now that land is ruined. Whereas if you had just followed the land Sabbath and kept that, that kept that faith, guess what? The land would have still been good. Would have still happened. That's why, for instance, what does Esau constantly have to spray? Fertilizer. Constantly have to spray pesticides, herbicides. Why? Because the land is um, is groaning. They say, you know, which you know, this is this is coming from Esau. So take it. You know with a with a ladle of salt but they say england only has 90 years worth of arable land that's a that's a destroyed land man why but that's that you know that that that, that following the ways of esau the way that esau does things yeah and that's why the effort's going to be renewed mm. you know a new heavens and a new earth just talking about i'm talking about like the lord's going to make another earth somewhere and everyone's going to go there yeah I'm talking about fear it's yep. going to be the word kainos in the, refreshed. In, in the Greek means what? Refreshed, like the brother said, you know? So everything's going to be refreshed. Mm. What's one one agent that can do that? The fire. That's you it. Know, the fire that the Lord's bringing. It's a cleansing agent as well mm -hmm. as a destructive agent. Yeah. You know? That's so hey, that's what's coming to this place, man. Yeah, and rightfully so. Because this, this place is wicked as hell, man. 
This place is wicked as hell. Yeah. So by the parting from that man, you make yourself a prick. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be one This is um, First Peter's chapter four verse. I'll start from one. This kind of this this precept kind of encapsulates the whole lesson. Mm. For as much then as Hamashiach Yahushai have suffered for us in the flesh, yeah. which is about suffering. It's true. We're suffering here. Yeah. We're in captivity. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So that's the mindset. We want to just, nah, free them and do whatever mm. they want to do. Hey, this yeah. about how we're, we're prisoners. Yeah. But it also says this truth shall make, set you, shall make you free. Exactly. Yeah, because this is what really leads on to life. That's it. That's it. Because that's a good point. People think, yeah, freedom. But they don't understand that the freedom that Esau has fed them isn't actually freedom. Right, yeah. they're actually being put in in in, in chains in, in in chains that is, that once again is leading to their own death and destruction. Yeah. Right, that's why, for instance, they say now more women are unhappy. Women are unhappier uh, uh, than when you know they were at home cooking. <laughs> well, you know what? Everyone's unhappy. It, well, yeah, yeah. Proverbs twenty nine. That's it. When the when the women yep. are in authority, the, uh, the people mourn, man. Right? Yeah. You well, know? that's why would you call it? Everyone's on fucking drugs. Yeah. And everything. Everyone, yeah, everyone's trying to escape their hell. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like this, this earth just needs a reset. Yeah. You know, these the souls need a reset. Everything yeah. just needs a reset, and it yeah. needs righteous rulership. Yeah. That's why yeah. it says in uh, Sarat, the Lord's gonna give it onto one that is profitable. Mm. You know, the tenth chapter. Yeah. Yeah. And it says, for he that have suffered in the flesh, ooh. Mm -hmm. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. Can. You know, we we're trying to, we we're trying to see some of the ways of sin, the way that leads on to death. You know, now Yahweh Shai kept the perfect. Okay. You know, and we we have hope that Lord willing, we are in in Yahweh Shai. Mm. You know, that is showing our diligence to make our calling and election sure. You know, to live to live to the best of our ability a righteous life. That's it. Yeah, but and then you in contrast, yeah, he's living, he's, he's living it up, yeah, and that's okay, yeah, he can do that. But you know what, there's a yeah. little time limit on that, that's and it. The time limit is closing, yeah. It says that he no longer should live the rest of his life, his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, mm -hmm. but to the will of the Halabash. You know, right? We're here to, to, just like our Lord was, we're here to fulfill the, the will of the Halabash. That's why we, we're going into this word, we're studying, much studying is words, we're creating them in the flesh. Mm. We're increasing in knowledge. With much knowledge is what? Grief. Grief. You know, the more you understand about things, you, you, uh, you know, the more understanding about yourself. Mm. How fucked up you are. Yeah. How mm -hmm. you need saving. You know, it increases your faith even more so mm -hmm. and your, your desire to be saved in your heart wash and health. Sure. It says, for the, for the time past of our life, may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine, mm. revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Mm -hmm. And that's all wicked things. That's it. You know, all the lust, clubbing and different things. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that it's, back of spirit. Yeah, I think somehow we need to get back there. I feel like that's where we can. Okay. Um, Probably go around this way, isn't it? Yeah. Which, I mean, remember the road. Will eventually lead to the gate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot. Yeah, they're, they're like, well, why? You yeah. know, I feel that's a precept to Isaiah 59 15 yeah. read earlier on. Yeah, yeah. It used to be fun. Yeah, fun. What happened? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, I think fun goes into like distraction. And yeah, yeah, and like in, in, in the Romanians, um, distractia. Which is ah. based distraction, and it's obviously that's a, a romance language too. Distracted from what? What you're really meant to be doing? Yep. Well, we're on our purpose, man. We're mm -hmm. on fulfilling the will of the Halabosh and Al Shai onto death. Yep. If, if, you know, if, if it be but really, a lot of us, yeah, there's going to be some, some of us in the household of faith that are going to, you know, yep. so called, we're going to have to take, you know, get head, our heads chopped off or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But most of us are going to be beamed up. Yep. It's a time of salvation, time as the salvation. apostles said. That's right. Because wherein they think it's strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's crazy now. He don't come out no more, man. Yeah. You know? Why did he drop out of uni? Nah, he got into some cult. 
Why did he do this? Oh yeah, now nah, he's boring now. All of that crap. Yeah. We're in actually now because we found life. That's right. We're in the straight game, man. Mm -hmm. When you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. Mm -hmm. We're constantly on a we're in a we're in a war. We're in a spiritual war. Yep. Here. You know, you guys are in league with the uh, with the devil. Yep. With this with, with, with the wicked man, with Satan. And you know, when Esau gets his um, his comeuppance and he gets destroyed, though hand joined in hand, surely the wicked shall not go unpunished. That's right. So you're going to be right there with him. If you, you're on Esau's side, well, you know what? You're going to go down right with him. Mm -hmm. You're going to go down mm -hmm. with that ship. While we, you know, the elect, you're going to be in the ship. So we hope that we're of that number. That's it. That's it. That's it. A couple that's more it. verses. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Mm. Okay, you have a shy. For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to the men. Yeah. The flesh, but live according to the Hawabash Mel Shai in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. The end of all things is yeah. at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. That's it. That's it. And that's one of the things we've been commanded to do, watch and pray. Right? Look at these prophecies. Because without watching, guess what? It'll get carnal and you'll fall out because you think nothing is happening. Like you speak to certain people in the world, be I'll be at work and I'm speaking to these cats, and they think nothing's happening, mm -hmm. right? Little, you know, you know, and, and that's why I once again quoted it uh, before. But in Matthew 13 and 16 says, "Blessed are your eyes, for they see." Because for us, it's plain to see yeah. <laughs> that this man's kingdom is done; it's finished, yeah. right? But they can't see it, and nor do they want to see it. Right. I'm just going to jump after verse 12. There's three more verses. Okay. Beloved, think you're not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, mm -hmm. as though some strange thing happened unto you. Yeah. It's, it's a battle. Yeah. Don't think it's strange. You're coming to, you know, this is a battle, man. Yeah. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings, mm -hmm. that when his glory shall be revealed, which is soon, the Lord's yeah. coming back, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Because you know what? Every, every, all that pain, everything, every time, every time, um, you know, you got pretty much, you know, people coming against you, speaking evil of you, you know, every time you got fucked over in any, whichever way, with women, job, whatever, family, okay, children, your body, your flesh, everything's mm. messed up. But you know what? You're enjoying all of that in the name of the Hal Bashmi Al Shah. Right. Say that stood, them that stood so stiffly. That's it. No, let no man take thy crown. That's it. If ye be reproached for the name of the Hal Shai, Hamashiach, happy are you. Mm. Less are you when men shall yeah revile you, revile you, and for my, for my for my name's sake. Roughly paraphrasing, for the spirit of glory and of the Hal Bashmi Al Shai resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. That's it. You know? That's it. So this is about doing the righteous acts, doing the right thing mm. in a wicked world. And that's that's a fight. That's it. That's a fight, man, because everything's a trap. That's why, hey, you increase in knowledge, you see the, you see the wickedness mm. even more so for what it is, you that's know? It. That's it. That's it. That's okay. it. Okay. So, yeah. um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, as always, laws Lord, Lord, I was edifying. I'm going to close, going to give a praise to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakadash. Right, double honest, apostle, great millstone. Double honest. All these two brothers didn't work the most on truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.